All right, today we're gonna to discuss really quickly some changes that have been made to our item estimation process and then the subsequent analytics that follow based upon feedback from our fantastic product advisory council. Um, so a conversation came up that we're trying to arrive at a scientifically backed estimate range for work items. And then we're tracking real hours and time against that range so we can help teams improve performance. But you have some cultural inertia in a lot of teams around story points and t-shirt sizes for estimation. And those are really popular. And, um, you know, without going into a long discussion and debate about why those are used, um, you recognize quickly that you're not likely going to convince a bunch of teams who are comfortable using t-shirt sizes that providing an optimistic, likely and pessimistic hours range is going to be, you know, produce a superior result immediately. And so you really need a way of supporting both story points and t-shirt sizes in your estimation process. But ultimately for us to give customers the analytics we want to give them, at some point those have to be translated into hours so that then as we're tracking our hours, we're able to compare, you know, what we thought was going to happen in future projections with what actually did happen during our sprints. So I think we've come up with a way to do that. Here's the process. You click on add a new work item. And just like before, there's this button here that says estimate effort. But now there is a new drop down list that says size. And this size setting is both an organizational setting where you can set up a master list of these. You can also override it at the program level. And you can fill this in with values like extra small, small, medium, large for t-shirt sizes or with um, story points, you know, one, two, three, five, eight. The important thing is you fill those out in one master setting to get the system started. And then the team can go through and estimate their work. And they can go through here and say, for example, this one's medium. And then it automatically populates a range for them that says, okay, mediums on average are gonna work out to be about 43 hours plus or minus 10 hours, 68% of the time, right? Okay, now here is, there are a couple of cool things we can do with this system. So hopefully this one feature helps people start to feel really comfortable with the idea of hours, but here's what's great. The way that story points are supposed to work is that over time, you use the actual performance of the team to inform how large a story point should really be. It's not just supposed to be a gut check that never gets refined and estimated. So what we are going to do is as sprint over sprint, we are able to evaluate the performance of each program. We're going to come back through and we're going to suggest updating these default ranges so that the default ranges for these t-shirt sizes and story points are actually backed by real historical performance data, which makes them um, much more useful and is an improvement on what a lot of teams actually use story points and t-shirt sizes for. However, we want to go one step further than that because another failure that occurs in a lot of teams is teams will go through and throw, you know, sort of a t-shirt size estimate. This thing's medium. And then they do the work and no one ever goes back and actually refines the estimate the way that you should as more is known on the, on the story. And so we are populating these values here, but these inputs are still editable. And if I go through and I click in one, for example, this pessimistic estimate, and I say, okay, we've learned more. Actually, this has the potential to run over quite a bit. And I update this to 120. You notice that immediately my PERT formula calculates, okay, my real estimate now is 50 hours plus or minus 17 to reach a 68% confidence. And now in this drop down list, I'm showing this is a refined value as opposed to just a medium t shirt size to show that now, hey, we've done some additional refinement on this. And that way we're trying to encourage teams to maybe if they start out with a t-shirt size to continue to refine the estimate as we go. So I think that's a, that's a really cool way to bridge that gap from story points and t-shirt sizes back to estimated hours.